find out if coconut oil is worth splashing out on, I'm off to one of the world's biggest producers, Vietnam. The Ben Tre province in the south of the country was once known as the Coconut Kingdom. There was even a religion based around this plentiful fruit. Our journey starts with a boat down the Mekong Delta. Hi, Phil. Give us a wave. Good morning. Good morning, Vietnam. But before we even set sail, there's a hitch. Our propeller is stuck in a fishing net right underneath me, and our driver is currently doing some diving underneath the boat to untangle it. Thanks to our skipper's super skills, we're finally on our way. Woo! You set us free. We're off down the Mekong. Morning. Just hop on. Yeah. Our guide Fong is going to give me the coconut lowdown. This is like a little shop in the middle of the water. Is that a coconut I can see? Coconut, yeah. So this is brilliant. Sinchao, Sinchao. Can I buy one of these? Well, that is delicious. Where do you get your coconuts from? Let's go down river, find some coconuts. And what are those coconuts used for? At first, you know, they just produce uh, some local products like candy, but recently they start to produce coconut oil, and then, you know, they can make, you know, more money from that. Coconut oil production in this part of Vietnam has doubled in the last three years because it's being used more and more as a cooking oil. Back on dry land, I'm heading into the heart of coconut growing territory. Xin chào! Xin chào! Xin chào! Mr. Kung has been growing coconuts on this small holding all his life. It's one of hundreds of small coconut farms in the area. Oh, look at him up there! Xin chào! <laughs> And like most coconuts the world over, they're harvested the traditional way by tree climbers. Perhaps this is why they're so pricey. Can you show me how you do it? Come on down. Now, I love a challenge, but this might be a step too far. Go on, just give me a little leg up. <laughs> ah! Didn't that? Ah! Mr. Kung, I can't. There is no way. <laughs> Help me down. Ah! <sighs> My You're going to have to go and get me a coconut. Show us how it's done. No! <laughs> he makes it look so easy. It takes about 10 months for a coconut to be ready for picking, and each tree can produce up to 100 a year. This is one labour-intensive fruit. I've seen how much work goes into harvesting coconuts, which could explain the oil's hefty price tag. But how do they get the oil out? I've come to one of the biggest coconut oil factories in the area. Hi. Hey. I'm meeting the boss, Dofo Loy. Do you make it coconut oil? Yes. Ah. This is a fresh coconut meat. And what kind of coconut oil are you making? Virgin coconut oil. The first stage to making virgin coconut oil is to make the milk. And to do that, the coconut meat is washed and shredded by a giant corkscrew. So what happens once you've shredded your coconut? When, when you make this, it's easy to extract the coconut milk. A machine then presses the shredded coconut meat, but there's still no sign of oil. What's left is the pure coconut milk. Don't drink, just a little. Because your stomach is not used to it, so you may go to toilets. <laughs> the milk is put through a centrifugal spinning machine to separate out the water, which results in a coconut cream. But they haven't finished with it yet. The cream is spun again to separate out the oil. And finally, you are left with... 100%. Yeah, 100%. Virgin. Virgin. It takes about 10 mature coconuts to make just one litre of the oil. No wonder this stuff costs a packet. Can I have a little try? Yeah, you try it. Coconut 